Hello YouTube, uh, Landon here. I'm gonna be giving you guys a tutorial, basically on how to make media bars like this. I also have an orb just to show you how that would look, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make this, uh, this video bar type of thing right here where you can add stuff like prices, make it for a button, whatever, you know, just to use for your layout for your profile. So, we're gonna start off here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the shape tool we're gonna use a rounded rectangular and we're gonna make that a reasonable size probably about mid like that you know probably a nice size that's just a rectangle kinda of long around the sides what I like to do is I'll rasterize the layer and it's white right now so don't worry about that but we're gonna double click our shape we're gonna start off by doing the color overlay and we're going to make this the yellow color like we had. So we're going to go to color overlay. And for the color, we're going to type in the code down here. I already have the code set, so I got that for reference. It's going to be DBF500. And you're going to get that color. You're going to hit OK. And if you need to, if I'm too fast, I'm sorry, it's my first tutorial, so just do whatever. And hold up. Sorry, I had to pause that because uh, my sister was playing some dubstep and it was a bit loud. Alright, now we have our color here. We're going to tone the opacity down to about 46%. So you have that. And now we're going to hit gradient overlay. We're going to go to that. For the colors, we're going to do... For the first one, we're going to click this. Hit the color. And for the code for this one, we're going to type in 9C9. A03. That's going to be our first color. It's kind of like a dark gold. Then we're going to click the next part. Hit color. And for that code, it's going to be F0 FF00. Going to click that. Okay. And this is a fairly simple thing to do, but I'm just going to make it look nice. All right. And now we're going to, we might as well do a stroke. So we'll hit stroke gonna go to one for the size position inside for the color we'll do do, do, do. b4 bb 0 a we'll do that for the stroke kinda like another dark gold and I think that'll be good and what else do we got here oh yeah inner glow we're gonna hit that gonna change the color of that to F0 F0 14 got an inner glow we're gonna have the choke at 0 the size to about let's do 7 that looks about good maybe let me see here you can have the opacity up if you'd like it doesn't really matter but. all right and now we're gonna go to inner shadow click that we're going to do the opacity 75%. Angle can stay at 120%. You can use global light. Um, we're going to do the distance of 4, a choke of 0, and a size of 38. Just like that. And if you don't like that, you can tone it down just a little bit. But around the 20s. I'll go 32. All right. And that's looking all right so far. So now we have that. I'm just going to switch my tabs over. All right, we have this so far. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little shadow towards the bottom. So create a new layer. I'm just going to call this shadow. Take your black and let's get a brush. So you have the color black and a brush. And you want your hardness all the way down to zero. We'll do the size of the brush at about... It's going to be fairly big. Let's go 484 pixels. Let's do that. Just click up here, get rid of that. Just going to go along the bottom like this. Because everywhere there's going to be a gloss on this, but there's also always going to be a shadow. I'm just going to move that down just a tad. And now while you have your shadow layer selected, you're going to hit control and you're going to click your shape. 
So it's going to give that uh, that tick mark outline. And then I'm going to go up to select and inverse. So it's going to select everything outside of your shape. I'm going to hit my eraser. I'm just going to hit that real quick. And now hit delete after you've just erased that little bit. And now that deletes that. And now you have a nice clean little shadow at the bottom. And I guess for the last part, we're going to create one more new layer. I'll just title that gloss or glare. Either one doesn't matter. And you're going to take your pen tool. Make sure that it is on the regular, not the one where you just draw free like that. So backwards, all right. And we're going to have this pen tool. And we're going to make our own shape, basically. So we're going to start about right here. Go over here, go down from there, probably about right there. And now we're going to come back over here, and we're going to go up a little more. It's not going to be a perfect rectangle. And you're going to hold that down, extend a little bit, and give it that nice line that you can see, a little wave type of deal to it. And so you can get a straight line, you're going to hold Alt and click this point right here, get rid of that little auto curve, and you're going to click that. And here you have a shape that you've made with the pen tool. All right. And now you just want to hit, you want to right click. You want to hit fill path. And I'm going to go color. And I'm going to change that to a white color. I'm going to hit OK. So now you filled it with white. You're going to right click this again. You're going to hit make selection. And hit control D on your keyboard to unselect it. As you can see, I have a little bit of space that I missed here, but since I did a little extra on the side, I can just move that over a little bit, and it looks fine. So let me go over here just to check what my opacity was for that, for that little glare that I did. It was at 37%. So first off, we can't just do that yet, because if you can see, I'm going to go to my layer background, and I'm just going to I'm going to add a color to that. Let's just, let's do this. Make a nice gradient. It'll only take about a second. Okay, as you can see, we have a nice background. And look at that. It looks retarded. It looks like, I don't know, looks like a Twinkie or something. And that's not looking right. So we're going to go to our gloss layer. And then again, we're going to keep that selected, but we're going to hit control and then we're going to click on. You're going to click on the shape. That's what I mean. All right, we're going to click on the shape. As you can see, it did that again. It does a little tick mark selection. Then we're going to hit select and inverse, and it's going to invert everything outside of that. Just erase a little bit. As you can see, it's only going to, you know, get rid of what's outside. And you don't have to erase the whole thing. You hit delete and it's all gone. Now to deselect all this, hit Control D on your keyboard, and it'll look like that, just like that. And now you can go up to your opacity here for your gloss glare layer, and hit it at 37%. And there you have it, a bar. And you can always, you know, if you don't like that, you can always tone it down a little bit, make it look a little more cleaner. That's just what I had it on. Um, <clears throat> and I think that looks pretty cool, and you can always play around with the colors, make it look nice and I'll give you a little example real quick hold up it's gotta load the type tool and I, uh, I have this on my new background that I recently made probably gonna be uploaded here soon but alright so I'll hit Lando fix prices let's say you just have prices for your channel and like you're a graphic designer and your services are not free let's just say that I'm going to enlarge that a little bit. And just kind of keep that in the center. And I already have a pre made style for this, basically. Sorry, my stuff's acting a little slow right now. Alright, so I go down here, I'll click my style. That looks pretty cool. Sometimes I like to uh, take the stroke down a little bit, about a 1. Maybe tone the opacity down about about 52 and um, I'll create a new layer and I'll also you know add a gloss on that just like this 
Now you can pretty much do this for any type of... This is just a pre-made style for this text that I made pretty much yesterday. And just like the others, I would, you know, keep my gloss layer uh, selected, but I'd do the control select for that. And then I'd select the inverse, and then I'd just delete that. And then there you go, I have a gloss for that. Tone that down about 37%, probably less than that. About that. As you can see, we have a nice little bar here. It looks nice. Would look good on profiles. Um, this has been done plenty of times by other people, but I just wanted to do my little take on it. So that's how that would look. So um, I'll try and answer any questions that any, anybody may have. Excuse me. And um, if you have any requests for tutorials, just let me know. And thank you, Lando out.